Hey there, it's Boots Owen here, back again with this candy washing machine, GVS 169D3 slash 1-80. Had a look at it before, tried to run it, and it was getting an F9, no, an E9 fault, error number 9. I looked that up in the manual, found the manual online, and uh, that was after people on YouTube told me that it's a motor triac fault, or motor fault. And so I looked it up in the manual, and the manual says, you know, there's a certain list of fault numbers, and some of them are ones that you can fix, like the filter and this and that, and that's what I tried before. But some of them, I think like 8 and 9, it just says, call a repairman, and it's like, well, that's no good, I'm not going to pay for that, that's just nonsense. So, motor triac, motor controller. So, looking in here, I've taken the top off, and it was just a matter of taking three screws out of the back. In on the back of the control board, in that aluminium heat sink there, there does appear to be a triac, if it is indeed a triac. It doesn't appear to have any burning from here, but I want to try and pop off the fascia. So you can see that there's a clip just down there, and I know that there's a screw holding it on in here. So I'll get the screw off and see if I can pop that off and get a look at this control board uh, in isolation. The other thing I want to do is have a look at the motor. I think, I think this machine doesn't have a bottom on it, so I might be able to see the motor if I lay it on its side, so I'll give that a go as well. So it's just a couple of Phillips screws in here. And these are just holding the soap drawer inner onto the onto the fascia. back there that's loose okay now in here there's a little tab excuse the upside down in this it's just snapped in there you can see that little tip at the end of the screwdriver I'm gonna try and pull that up and out without breaking it off it's pretty tight oh, something else is getting stuck there It's all just plastic across the top and it doesn't seem to be clipped onto this metal, upside down now, onto this metal beam. So it might just be, yeah, it looks like it's snapped on over the side actually and screwed on here and here. So this side piece, when I took the top off, the back came off and then the, the board came out, but these side pieces look like they'll have to slide out as well. I'll give them a bit of a pull without the camera. Okay, so I can see what's going on there. There's a little plastic tab in here that snaps the side piece onto the front. How to get that off, I guess. Just needs a little bit of force. I think a flat bladed screwdriver might be better. The screwdriver there, big, but I wonder. It doesn't seem to want to pop off. Let's try it over this way. break it. Bad news, but yeah, it's very strange there. It doesn't it doesn't have much flex in it. Like, I know I've knackered it, but it's not a big deal really because it'll still be held on from the back. Let's try the same thing over here. That's it. That's, that side's come off a bit better. It's stuck on there, that's it. Okay. Strange design that. I've not seen one done like that before. And we've got two of these screws here. What I'm hoping is that I can somehow test the triac. See underneath that plastic there, there's the, um, the plastic clip. You can see a great deal there, it is. There it is. That's that side off. Now uh, let's work, work across. There's wires on here as well. Something stuck on the bottom there. Get a feel of it. 
It's a clip somewhere down here, maybe. A little button or something. And there's one, well, you can't turn upside down now. There's one over there as well. You can get in and see it. So there's a little snap. You're upside down, because I'm upside down. That's, I guess, the best way to make sense of this. Let's get a screwdriver on it. Side, and this one in the middle there it goes the other way up and down down and up Jesus. they don't make this at all handy and there was a third over here let's snap that one back in I can't see what I'm doing here. This one snaps down instead. Okay. See, that's... The center one keeps locking back up again. The side one's popped on again. Let's, off. Let's put my leg against it to keep it off. This one here I think has to go down. Hard on the fingers that. I'm trying to push it off, but not break it because it's a nice machine. Normally with these I just ham fist my way into them. Is that it? Yeah, that's it loose there. Maybe then over here. I think there's a plastic tab on the side of this one as well. I'll try and get to it. Yeah, it's right in there, in the gap. Let's get this right in there. That's it. Pop it off. Now those two screws are still in here. There's one of them resting there on the door. And this one. It's still in there. Right, that's this off. Tray looks particularly clean to me. I'll get a part number off that. BTA 316 800B. So it's a relatively complex board, this, because you can see this ribbon cable coming off the side here and then get stuck onto the fascia. So there's a, it's a touch panel, there's no buttons, there's no pops or anything like that. You know, that's still working, so I'm not too worried about it, but, uh, well, something's wrong with it doesn't look blown or anything like that and the fact that the motor went woo and then stopped means that I think there's you know the motor is probably all right but it's like a speed sensor might be gone rather than the triac that controls the speed what I think it is is that well it could be the triac's dead as well I don't know I'll look up the part and then what I'll do is I'll offer this back up and turn the machine on its side and just have a I'll put one screw in it and then I'll turn the machine on its side and, and have a look and see what's underneath so I'm in underneath the machine and it's a standard-ish one, you know, it's a CE set motor. Let's see, is there a number on it there that I can see? 41042385, I don't know if that's, no, no, MCA6164148CY23. It's a standard -ish, standard enough motor. Oh, there's another number there. What does that say? MCA again, so it's MCA 61-64. There it is there. Brush commutator universal motor. Sounds a bit, a bit weird. I can't see the lower brush. I could take the motor out and have a look at it and kind of might as well while I'm here. It's a 10 mil socket and a connector on the bottom. There's not much to it really. Belt and connector and that. Not much to it. Should I bother? I guess 
guess I should while I'm here. Like, it's quite a clean machine, as I said. It's a welded tub, so the bearings go. It's the same as that one that I showed you, uh, the Whirlpool one a few weeks ago there. You know, if it breaks, it breaks, and that's that's what you're left with. All these scrapes on the bottom of it, they'll have been, you can see the green color, that's from hauling it into my van and dragging it across the street. You can see them there. I'm particularly ham-fisted when I do these things because I never, I never expect that they will work again. It's quite a simple little model this and I know a few people have said in the comments on the previous video that they don't think this is a great machine but you know I think any machine that works is a, is a good machine and I guess like if it's giving you an error, an error fault like that it's not so good but yeah I'll get a I'll get a 10 mil socket and we'll we'll haul this motor out and have a look at it as well on the bench I guess not sure what there will be to see but it could be a motor motor or a triac triac motor so here's the motor, it's the MCA 6164148. It feels fine on the bench, you know, whatever that noise was, is probably coming off the belt. I haven't checked the brushes, but I presume they're, you know, alright. By some weird coincidence, maybe, I have this one that I found recently, 5264148. So it's got the same middle part of the code, but at 52 rather than it's the CY84, the CY82 rather than the CY34. Now uh, this one's made in 2016. This is bizarre. This is, says week 3518. So it might have had a new motor already, made in 2018, because I thought it was a 10-year-old machine. But if that's what it says there, 18, even this one to have been left out, 16, seems a bit seems a bit new to me, but how do you know? Both have 69 stamped on there. They're slightly different. This one has a black pulley on it. It might be a slightly larger pulley. Let's get a let's get a calipers on it. It's like giving me 20, 24 and a bit, 24 and a bit, and that one is completely, it's completely different there, so I don't know if I could use the other motor, but I, I don't think there's anything wrong with this one. Um, I could test it <clears throat> by energizing it, and perhaps, you know, if there was a problem with the taco, even though it's a snapped in one, I could prise that out and replace the taco with this taco here, because they appear to be identical. Better write candy on this one. Candy. Just so that I know which one I'm dealing with when I come back to it. I'll look up that thing on the internet and see what it says for the triac. In here, this little thing here is a triac, and the machine was given error 09, which is a triac fault. It says it's a motor fault or a triac fault, but uh, I'm going to try testing the triac and see if I can uh, have a look at it. Triac stands for a triode for alternating current, and basically what it does is it turns the power on and off, or that's, that's my way of thinking of it anyway, it turns the power on and off to the motor so that the motor doesn't go too fast. And the board here, in all its magic, can uh, tell th through the tachograph on the end of the motor how fast it's going, and then that then in turn tells the triac here how much electricity this is very rudimentary really <laughs> as far as i'm describing it it tells the uh it tells the motor how or it tells the triac how much electricity to give to the motor which then in turn gets it to go at the right speed so let's have a look at this i've got a multimeter down here that you can just see set to read resistance i'll touch my contacts together and we'll get a reading there, okay? I've got a positive and a negative. And what I want to do is, I want to test the positive to the center one and the negative to the left hand one and we should show no continuity through the triac if it's working. Uh, that's weird, we're getting continuity there. Hmm. Okay, so it could be dead and just blown. Try it the other way around. Yeah, I think this one's just a dud. 
what I should be doing is testing these and getting it an open circuit and then when I put a jumper cable across the middle one to the gate which is the one on the right I should get uh, then it should get continuity but because it's not because it's just got continuity from the start I presume it's just stuck and maybe that makes sense because if it's stuck open no stuck closed with continuity like that that would explain why it's just revving constantly whenever the machine turns on so it really could just be a triac fault and that could be what's wrong yeah we're getting continuity across all three there and i don't think that's right new triac test what <laughs> fix what you're told to fix we'll give that a go yeah so so let's recap on that again see if i've got it straight if we test for continuity here from one to two left to center we shouldn't get any continuity it should be open and then if we put a jumper cable from two over to the gate that should close these two but because they're already closed then it's just not working so i suspect it's a dud it's a dud hmm what number is on that again it's a bta 316 800B, and I've ordered a new one, and I'll replace it. Look how easy it is to pop this out. It's screwed in over here. No, it's not. It's uh. It's screwed in there. <clears throat> and have a look oh it's just snapped into the to the knob on the front that's all that was should lift lift and wiggle there it is and you pull off this little connector here which is bloody tiny if you can see that it's got that ribbon on it getting into iphone territory here really come on out buddy what's stopping yet oh it's a it doesn't it's the connector just stays on there oh dear get nervous when i'm doing stuff like that because that's how you that's how you break stuff Okay, so it's those three pins there, I think. Yeah, those three should be easy enough. Board on a board, raised up. Surface mount on this side. There's your uh, little chips there. They're doing the thinking. Another one there. There's a lot going on here. There's a display. Another little, are they five, five? No, I don't know what they are up there. Actually, no, those wouldn't be motor ones because there's no heat sinks on them. They're unlikely to be anyways. Let's just get the screwdriver in here. God, that's stiff. I wonder is that the same screw there that's that dab the solder on the other side it is they have set out to make my life a misery that screw is too big They've set out to make my life a misery that one's a better fit oh we're moving okay self-tapping screw lovely these things are hard look at the look at the knobs on my fingers from the pressure i needed to do that so you can get the heat sink out that way yeah it was it was it was the screw was held on with a dab of solder as well so i just broke that off there's very little solder on there it won't take much to heat heat those off they're only uh they're only tiny and the traces there are not that big so going from this one the traces 
God, they're kind of sandwiched inside the board. There, that's a, that's one of them. Just trying to think. They go over to here. I think the motor came off over here on these big tabs. So yeah, does that make sense? Triax driving what? This one over to here. To that resistor over to here, up to that strap going down there. No, I don't know. I'm not going to try and unpick it because there's a lot going on on both sides. Candy Hoover Group. Can W081 2016 0615. It says Can W081 main board 2017. Revision 11. Yeah, it is what it is. You gotta be careful with these things. They're bloody delicate. Okay, let's slip that back in for now. How does that fit? Oh, I don't like these things. Okay, push that in there. Get a new one in the post in a couple of weeks and I'll fix it. It's the best I can do. Oh, I've just realized that little extra circuit board that's popped out there. You see the way it's got a kind of a ring arranged there of cables or of traces inside it. That's your NFC module. So it's a separate circuit board that can interact with mobile phones. Pretty cool, you know? Um, in all its simplicity, it is still pretty cool that these things are coming on. Whether or not there's any point in them is a completely different question. I doubt that there is, but you know, it is kind of cool that in a, I think it's, this is a 200, 250 pound machine, you can get that kind of kind of stuff. I know it's only like a what, 50 pence for that board if you're buying them industrially or on commercial scales. There you go. Okay, see you later.